What should you do if you're planning a buyout? We're gonna find out next in the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. You're looking to retire and your partner wants to buy you out. What's the first step in this process? Most shop owners who know they want to exit the business only have some hazy goals because they have no verifiable details about what resources they have and what their shop is really worth. They might know what they have in investable assets like their 401k and investment accounts, yet they don't know how much they can take out to sustain these assets for the rest of their lives. They do know they will need proceeds from the sale of their businesses to fill the gap, yet they don't know for sure how much they will net from the sale or transition of their business. They have a general idea of the assets and real estate of the business, but have no idea what the actual value of the business is. They've never had a proper valuation done. This poses a problem from the standpoint of what they will be paying their partner to buy them out. Are they paying too little? If so, it will benefit them, yet could create problems in the future if their partner finds out. The second problem is how much their son or daughter has to pay them to buy out their share. The son or daughter most likely does not have the financial resources to buy them outright. So how do they ensure that they have adequate income and not completely tap out their son or daughter, which could set them up for failure? This is what is called the asset gap, the difference between the value of the financial resources you need at your exit to achieve your post-exit income goal and the value of your current financial resources, which include the net proceeds from the sale of the business. Because you do not have a clear picture of what you can achieve, you'll probably do what most owners do. Kick the can down the road on the next year of the rolling five-year plan. The first step of the process is to set goals that are broken down into manageable baby steps. These goals must have five attributes. They must be specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and timely. This process lays the foundation for creating a roadmap for a successful transition of the business. Because it's based entirely on the owner and their family's goals, the whole process becomes owner-centric. What are the types of goals owners must quantify and set? They fall into three categories. Foundational. The need for financial security and independence is foundational to a successful exit or transition. Since an owner who is exiting will have little or no income from the business, the acid test for any exit plan is whether the owner can achieve financial independence no later than the date they give up control of their companies. To define financial independence, two questions that need to be answered are, what amount of cash must I have to exit successfully? And how do I determine with precision how much I will need? These numbers should be expressed as a pre-tax annual amount of income adjusted for inflation. As this is the most important financial analysis of your life, it calls for the involvement of an experienced financial planner. Universal, these goals come back to three questions. When do you want to exit or transition? How much income do you want? To whom will you leave the business? Value-based, these goals relate to your personal values and tend to be non-monetary, less tangible, and more heartfelt. In working with family businesses, you find these to be the most overlooked, yet when implemented, the most impactful. These can include family legacy, owner legacy, acknowledging employees, taking the shop to the next level, minimizing taxes, maintaining culture, community involvement, quality retirement, and charitable impulses. To uncover these goals, ask yourself, what is my vision for my company without me? What is my vision for myself and my family without my company? Is this particular values-based goal important to either vision? As you can see, you must understand what is truly important and define specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and trackable goals that will help you attain the life and lifestyle you want not only for yourself, but also your family. The next step is to determine what those goals are, set those goals, put a plan in place to achieve those goals, and then achieve your desired outcome. I'm Jason Stahl from the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. Thanks for watching.